budget and for the first day of my five day um, beauty looks for Christmas um, or any time really um, I've been really really excited to do this week I really have because five of my, my lovely friends have agreed to do this with me and I feel so chuffed and so honoured that they said yes to me um, so we're going to do a different look every day and I'm doing it with a different friend every day and I'm just I'm just tickle pink. I'm <laughs> totally tickle pink. Um, so today is the, uh, day one, and we are going to do a look with tried and tested products. So it's products we've had for ages and we purchased and we really like and enjoy using. And I'm going to be doing it with my beautiful friend Laura. Just, she's just has a lovely way of putting things over and she's beautiful and I just I love her I do um so I want you to go over and say hello to Laurie for me I'm sure most of you know her Laurie anyway all that's beauty with Laurie I'll link her channel and she's also going to do a look with tried and tested products so today I picked this one I'll tell you what I've picked and tell you what I'm using see you in a minute okay so we'll start today's look now it's all about tried and tested, you know, um, things that I've loved for years. Now, my favourite eyeshadow, without any doubt whatsoever, is the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone. I love that palette. I go back to it time and time again. But I wanted to include um, a lilac -y look this week as well, because I know I, I wore a lilac look a couple of weeks ago, or last month in a video and I know a lot of you said you liked it so I thought I'd try to reconstruct that for you um, so obviously the pe um, comfort zone wouldn't have done that however the pedal pusher would um, and this is also wet and wild and I love these icon palettes I love them for the price it's it, hard to get over here I do have to send for, um, from Amazon it's not openly sold in shops over here but I do really love the palette. So what I'm going to do is because the pedal pusher is um, a shimmer palette and these eyes are not really up for a lot of shimmer here, um, I'm going to use another palette for my transition colour. This one is a LA Girl Ilux palette. I'll list all the colours below. This is my first one but it will be a tried and true because I love this palette for exactly what I'm using it for. The transition colour is excellent. So what I'm going to do for transition colour is I'm going to take this one here, this kind of midi pink one, lilac -y one, and that's the one we're going to be putting in as a transition colour. So I've been so looking forward to this week, guys. I have been so looking forward to it. Um, I can't, I thought of the idea, I wanted to do a week of makeup looks for you anyway, I, you know, I was really looking forward to doing that. Um, and then I thought, I wonder if I could do it, you know, every day with a different friend. And I was so chuffed that, you know, everyone said yes and I just feel so chuffed. I do, I feel so privileged to, you know, be with these ladies, I really do. And you're tiny, it's hard to get out there, isn't it? It's still hard to get out there. And my beautiful Susan, little poet, she gave me my first shout out. I think I had about 60 subscribers. She gave me a shout out, she's lovely. Love my Susan. Right. So that I'm using as a transition colour, guys. Making sure it's well blended. I'm the blending queen. <laughs> so now we've got our transition colour done, we can go into the pedal pusher. So I'm going to start with this one here I don't know if these colours are listed they are guys I will put it down for you you can imagine I can't see them <laughs> so I'm going to start with this one here 
and the uh, same brush but I'm using the other end okay a little bit more intricate um, precision precision brush so we're going to use that one there and then let's get up a bit closer I'm going to just pack that not as far up with the transition I'm just going to pack that more or less a line like this in that little shape that more or less a line like this in that little shape again like that and then we go back to blending that so I'm using the brow colour which is this one here it's going right under my eyebrows which I will fix <laughs> they won't stay like that and we're doing that and just turn the eyebrow there and then just under the eyebrow there okay so next with a very very small brush I'm going to take that middle colour again there and really really close to the lashes guys about three quarters of the way really work that into the lashy line and then we go up and just create a flick with the shadow like that and then we're going back into that again really close I put a tiny bit of brush a tiny bit on the top blah, blah, blah. tiny bit on my brush at a time because you can add but you can't take away can you so build up carefully especially with this palette because it's mega pigmented okay and then we just want to move that out under the eye like that okay so next I'm going in for this dark color here mega dark color don't be scared of it either side and all we're going to do here come up really close so you can see is just go into that part there so we've got the V yeah up a little bit to get a shape and then we're going to bring that in just like this just blend that in to about a, th about a third then you need to blend that really really well and I'm using just a soft brush a smaller brush to start with you want to bring that over to the brow uh, the middle blending that in blend it all around the outside make sure it disappears or not disappears <laughs> you know what I mean guys a bigger brush working 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 and spend a little time doing that okay guys so when we've done that we're going to take this one here just on our finger like this it's a very shimmery one we're going to shut our eyes and we're just going to do this let's get you a bit closer we're just going to do this in the center and then we go, I know I use that finger we shouldn't we should use this one should we ring finger because it's the softest but I do go really really soft and then very delicately you don't need a brush for this we take that over the eyelid like that and just delicately work it in you can see I'm barely touching my eye work it in with that outer shade and we do the same on the other side That's it. you know guys I'll be glad when the summer comes back because you can see my eye bag can't you but if I, I'm on under ring light obviously because I've got no light in here enough to film but when I'm, I haven't got the ring light on you can't see this it's as if the skin's so thin there I think that the light sort of reflects it but when I'm in, um, you know, when I, I, 
under natural light when I film you know sometimes I film on bedroom I film in here in natural light you can't see them so much I don't know why that, and you can't see them in my mirror so much but it really shows when I'm under the ring light I don't know why but I don't sort of have any option in the winter because just not enough light comes into my house okay guys so that is my eye look complete let's just make sure that that's well blended that's it guys that's the eye look complete now what I'm going to do well it's not complete because I need to put my brows on and my mascara but I will do that off camera as I will every day this week just to save time you've seen me do my brows haven't you loads of times with my lashes so I'll be back in a minute okay guys so that is my mascara and eyebrows done and because we're doing um faithfuls i've used those faithfuls as well i love this guys i'm still using me freedom brow pomade <laughs> i really like it i do really like it and that is a colossal maybelline's colossal this one's called big shot but most of the colossals in fact i like maybelline's uh, mascaras a lot um and this one's called the big shot and i bought this a couple of times i think you saw me review it so that's my eyes done never going on to the face now you'll see me do this guys every day more or less um and i do do it when i'm putting my makeup on once my eyes are done i take this is a bit disgusting because it's young because i let i really well hit pan i take my blusher or whatever i want to use that day and my lipstick and I just make sure that we've got the same family. Can you see that? And I always do that. I pick out what I think would match. And I just take it to my eye like that. And just make sure that it's all in the same family. Because sometimes you can get something um, and you think, oh, that would match. But actually it's a much warmer tone or a much cooler tone. And it doesn't look right at all. So this one is... MYX um, Illuminating Blush and this is an Enigmatic. I've had this ages but they do still sell it guys. So round again and we're just going, this, we don't need a highlighter with this because this is enough with the highlighter as well. Now we're looking at a very kind of natural pink. Nothing too much. Don't go higher than your cheekbone because it's quite illuminating. But I don't want no blusher on as well. That to me is enough. And we're doing the same this side. Because it's got the colour in it. I mean if it was just a plain blusher I wouldn't do that. A uh, plain highlighter I wouldn't do that. But because it's got the... And that's that one there guys. Little touch jam. And I was just a touch. Not on the tip. On the bridge there. A little bit there. it guys up a bit around the temple not near the eye mm -hmm. <laughs> that's it so that's the that. lips I'm not putting a lip liner on today if I would if I was going to I would again go through the colors and pick something similar but this one is barely there by essence Okay, so what do you think? Um, I know you've said you like me in lilac looks before, so that's why I picked that one for you. Um, both this palette and the Comfort Zone are palettes that I've loved, 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 loved. Um, but I wanted to do the lilac one because I know you've said you like lilac, so I thought I'd do my tried and tested and use the lilacs for you. Um, I've enjoyed this. I've enjoyed doing it. I hope you like the look guys and please go over to Laurie and say hello um she's she's a cracker all my friends are crackers <laughs> as opposed to muse bar me <laughs> okay I will see you again tomorrow when I've got another friend and another look and I lucky girl see you tomorrow guys take care now bye <laughs>